Hey there, uh, just a quick update on the weapon fairy thing from La Mulana. Uh, I played through the game again, I looked at the variable, um, and I finally figured out what was going on with that whole, like, it equaling 17 million whatever at the end of the game. And, uh, well, if we look at the number here, you can see it's equal to 17,039,625, which seems like a really completely strange and random number. However, if I convert it into hexadecimal, it becomes a little more obvious what's going on here. Uh, I've added a zero at the front for clarity, but basically now what you can tell is we've got four separate variables stored in the same memory address. And with these separators, it becomes even more obvious. So uh, what are these four variables controlling? Well, the first part is actually keeping track of whether or not you've met the requirements to have Gionin appear in the end credits, which, if you remember, is you either have to buy guild.exe or the Shellhorn from his alternate shop in uh, the Spring of the Sky. Uh, the next part actually keeps track of how many key fairy spots you've activated. So uh, those are the door to the gate of time, the chest that has the fairy clothes in it, you have the chest for the spalder, and then the last one is the spring of the sky, uh, switching the shop from the original to Gionin's alternate shop thing. Uh, the next set is the strangest one. Uh, because it's just this random flag for whether or not you've unlocked, not opened, just unlocked the chest in the Shrine of the Mother for the Sacred Orb. So after you've used all four seals, it keeps track of the fact that it's open now. Um, and then, of course, the last uh, variable is how many fairy points you've collected. So this is all very weird. It shows that Lama Lana kind of stores things in memory very strangely. And they're also all 8-bit variables, which is strange because, I mean, in most high-level programming languages, I've used the only 8-bit variable they have is a char. But anyway, not the point. Uh, basically, from everything I figured out, I was able to make a program that keeps track of how many fairy points you've had. And there it is up in the upper right. Uh, once we open the game... It'll show us 0 out of 9, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of myself with this. It took a very, very long time to build. Uh, so then we load up a save. Here I'm loading up uh, a completed 100% save, and there we go. 9 out of 9 fairy points. And then I'm going to load up uh, the save I showed in the previous video, where for some reason one of the fairy points had glitched and not counted. And there it is, you can see 7 out of 9. And of course that last one that, or the, one of the ones I was missing was this one in the Temple of Moonlight, which was the one that wasn't working for some reason. But of course now that we have this, we can see when it works and when it doesn't, and there it goes. Boom, 8 out of 9. And then last I just show off this save where I'm collecting the first fairy point, and there you go, from 0 to 1 out of 9, which is pretty cool. And now, just to show that this all does, in fact, work, here is the true all-characters ending. Everyone's there, including the stupid wedding fairy. So, uh, enjoy. Enjoy.